Hey guys, it's Melanie. Um, this is not the video that I normally bring to you guys every Friday. Um, this is actually the first video that I am recording this entire week. Everything that you have seen this, these past few days and a couple of other videos that you will see coming up were all pre-recorded. Um, so it's really hard for me to make this video because I don't, I am not someone who likes asking people for things. I don't feel right doing that, but I also feel like I have a really wonderful platform to be able to reach quite a few people who could potentially help to make a difference for something. And um, I wanted to share this story with you guys. I've honestly stopped and started this video multiple times. Um, I keep crying and I'm trying to keep it together so that I can just get the information across to you guys and um, maybe if some of you feel compelled to donate, um, you will do so. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I posted on Tuesday that I found out that a friend's daughter was um, no longer going to be able to continue her fight with the cancer that she has had for the last four and a half years. And it was really hard to find that out because these past four and a half years, as Lucy, her mom, has continued to update all of us who just absolutely adore her and her family. You know, we've always just, all of us thought that no matter what, like, she was going to be fine. Like, she might have to keep doing chemo, but, like, she would be fine. And, unfortunately, she took for a turn for the worse on Tuesday. And within 24 hours, she was gone. So she died early on Wednesday morning. It was very sudden. Um, it was not something that, like I said, any of us expected, much less her mom and dad. We had known that Elena was not doing good for a little while now. But again, it was always this thought of she beat cancer a couple of times before and so she was just gonna beat this again and it was you know hopefully this next time it would be for good um but she did not um i have been friends with lucy for over 10 years now i actually met her when she and a group of our friends we call ourselves the naughties we were getting married all of us were getting married in 2008 and we were all on the Knot website for our local area and we just connected and we became such good friends and we've remained friends over the last 10 plus years and we have watched each other have kids. Others in the group have had miscarriage. One of our friends had a stillborn. So there have been losses within our group and we didn't expect any of them um, and we have always been there for each other and this is an amazing group of ladies and definitely one of the most special in the group was Lucy. She was actually one of the first out of all of us to get married and they had Elena shortly after they were married that same year in November and Elena was just the happiest child. If there ever was a woman that was meant to be a mother, it was my friend Lucy. She adored this child. Every fiber of her being. I'm sorry guys. I just don't think I'm ever going to be able to do this eloquently. 
my heart just hurts so badly for her mom and dad and everybody else in her family who just adored this little girl so much you guys Lucy was an incredible mother who was with her child through every single step she never left her side and even as Elena passed away she was there and she held her thought I could keep it together it's gonna be hard for me to upload this you guys because I really I don't like feeling vulnerable like this I know that there are just mean people out there and I just don't want to deal with any of that stuff right now but I wanted to put the information out there about the GoFundMe that us naughties started for Lucy and Jake who are like I said Elena's parents um I am someone who is very focused on logistics in a lot of ways it's just I have a very type a personality and I always think about scenarios and outcomes and how to do things efficiently and how to make sure that everything gets done and one of the things that I'm struggling with and that I have been struggling with is thinking about them planning a funeral and then the additional expense of that because having been through this cancer for the last four and a half years the I mean the amount of I just I can't imagine the amount of bills that they have already and to add a funeral on top of that just crushes my soul I just if there's any way that I can help to raise some money for the funeral expenses so it's at least one less thing for them to worry about um, I am more than happy to do that I'm more than happy to look like this and ask you guys for help if you can't help monetarily if you can just send some well wishes to her mom and dad they are really struggling right now and it really does watching this just serves as a constant reminder that life is so short and so precious and you can't take anything for granted and um yeah thank you guys for watching this video I do have to try to pull myself together and just try to be there as best I can for my friend and I feel like this is one of the best ways that I can help her so I will put the information for the GoFundMe down below in my description box if you can share it if you want to donate, if you just want to leave a kind word for Lucy and Jake, feel free to do so. I appreciate you guys always supporting me here and I hope that you will take the time to support something that is truly important and help this grieving family with these lost expenses for their daughter. Um, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.